Hey everyone, Danny Rick here with an explosive news story you won't believe. NFL superstar Travis Kelce is absolutely fuming after his celebrity roommate Taylor Swift secretly sold their shared Beverly Hills mansion for a whopping $25 million, and he had no idea it was even on the market. This whole saga started back in 2021 when Kelce and Swift decided to go in on a lavish $15 million estate together. The two had become close friends over the years, bonding over their shared experiences of finding massive success in their respective industries. They figured, why not live together and save some money in the process? Plus, Kels loved the idea of having one of his best friends as a roommate. The mansion they picked out was nothing short of stunning, 10,000 square feet, 7 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a massive pool, tennis court, home theater, the works. It was the ultimate celebrity getaway, and Kels and Swift were thrilled to call it home. For the first year or so, everything was going great. Kels and Swift would host amazing parties and gatherings, invite all their famous friends over, and just live their best lives. But behind the scenes, cracks were starting to show in their arrangement. Taylor and I, we're both perfectionists, you know. We like things a certain way, and we'd bump heads sometimes on how to run the house. Like, she wanted these specific candles in every room, and I was just like, come on Tay, that's a bit much don't you think? Little things like that started to add up. The final straw came when Swift decided she wanted to completely renovate the home's movie theater. Kels was dead set against it, arguing that the theater was already awesome the way it was. But Taylor wouldn't budge, she wanted her vision, and she was going to make it happen, whether Kels liked it or not. I just thought it was such a waste of money, you know. We had this awesome theater set up already. Why fix what ain't broken? But Taylor, she's stubborn as hell. She went ahead and blew like $500,000 on this renovation, and I was livid. That's when I started to think, maybe this whole living situation isn't gonna work out. After that blowout, the two started spending less and less time at the house together. Kels would be off training for the upcoming NFL season, while Swift would be traveling the world on tour. The mansion started feeling more and more like a burden than a luxury. And then, out of the blue, Kels gets a call from his real estate agent a few months ago. Turns out Taylor had gone behind his back and put the house on the market without telling him. She managed to find a buyer willing to pay a whopping $25 million for the property, nearly double what they paid for it originally. I was completely blindsided, man. One day I'm thinking we're still living there, the next day my agent is telling me the house has been sold. I couldn't believe it. I tried calling Taylor but she wouldn't pick up, she was already on a plane to God knows where. I was pissed, man. That was our house, our investment, and she just sold it off without even consulting me. Kels was fuming. Not only did he feel betrayed by his friend's sneaky actions, but he also missed out on a massive payday. That $25 million sale price would have netted them each a cool $12.5 million profit. Instead, Taylor pocketed the entire amount, leaving Kels high and dry. I called her team, I called her manager. I was banging down every door trying to get an explanation. But Taylor was completely M.I.A. Her people just kept saying, Miss Swift is unavailable for comment. It was such a nightmare. To make matters worse, Kels was right in the middle of negotiating a massive contract extension with the Kansas City Chiefs. The $25 million windfall would have gone a long way towards securing his financial future. But now, that opportunity has slipped through his fingers. This whole situation has been a huge setback for me, both personally and professionally. I've been busting my ass for the Chiefs, trying to lock in this new deal, and now I've lost out on this crazy payday that would have set me up for life. It's just so frustrating, man. Taylor and I are supposed to be friends, but she really did me dirty on this one. As of now, Kels is still exploring his legal options, hoping to at least recoup some of the profits from the sale. But with Taylor Swift's army of high-powered lawyers, that's proving to be an uphill battle. All he can do is hope that the public backlash against Swift's shady actions will force her to make things right. But for a guy who's used to controlling the outcome on the football field, being at the mercy of his famous friend turned foe is a whole new ballgame.